Hey everybody, I am the Nintendo Beast, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Homebrew Channel on Wii Firmware 4.3 uh, using the Soft Mod, also known as the Letter Bomb Approach. Now the things you'll need is an empty SD card, a computer with SD card reader, and obviously internet, and obviously your Nintendo Wii is also um, required. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to come to a website on your computer, uh, go to please.hackme.com, me spelled M-I-I, -I, like the Wii Me version. Um, so yeah, once you load up that site, the first thing you're going to notice is the system menu version. And if you're in the United States like I am, just leave it uh, checked as 4.3U. Uh, there's also Europe, Japan, and Korea. Don't worry about that if you're in the United States though. Uh, so then you're going to come over to your Wii, and the next thing you need to do is you need to find your Wii's personal MAC address. So in order to do that, you have to load up Wii Options, and then come over to the Wii Settings menu. And once you load up the Wii Settings menu on your Wii console, all you have to do is you have to scroll to the second page and click the internet button. Once that loads up, just click console information, and it's right there, your personal uh, console MAC address. So just keep that, and then you're going to have to go back to your computer now, and in the boxes where underneath where it says MAC address, just type in your console's personal MAC address like you just saw on your console. And after you're done with that, you're going to notice a little checkbox that says bundle the hack me installer for me. You want the uh, Hack Me installer bundled for you, so if that box was not checked, make sure to check it. If it was checked, then just leave it alone. Um, keep that checked. And then, obviously, just the CAPTCHA, make sure you're not a bot trying to download it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Just type it in. It's It'll be real simple. Uh, but after that, after you get past the CAPTCHA, you'll notice two buttons. There, one says cut the red wire, one says cut the blue wire. As far as I'm aware, uh, it doesn't matter which button you click. I always cut the red wire just because I know it works. Um, so then you'll notice a letter bomb dot zip starts downloading once you click uh, once you cut one of the wires. So once that's done downloading, uh, immediately open that up. For demonstrative purposes, I'm going to make that half the screen right here, and I'm going to make the other half uh, the file for my SD card. Now it's real simple to do. All you have to do is come to your uh, letterbomb.zip, highlight all the content, and just drag and drop it right onto your SD card. Once you have all those files copied from your letterbomb.zip onto your SD card, uh, you can remove that, and then you gotta go back to your Wii, and you're gonna put the SD card into your Wii. Now you don't have to go to the SD card menu or anything, all you have to do is come over to your Wii message board and open that up. Now, it's either going to be on today's date, right there it is, it's either going to be on today's date or the previous day, or it can sometimes be the next day, uh, usually it's either today's date or yesterday's date, uh, but all you have to do is click that letter bomb, that red message, and it'll automatically load up this black screen, don't worry, it's not fucking up your Wii. Um, then you're going to see this um, like anti-scam message, even though you're kind of hacking, it uh, doesn't matter. It's saying, it's basically saying, if you paid for it, you've been ripped off, go demand your money back, whatever, yada yada yada. That's going to take a little while. But once you see this screen, click continue. Then you're going to scroll up to uh, install the homebrew channel, and then yes, continue. And now this is only going to take a few seconds. This is really, actually installing the software is actually the easiest part and the quickest part of it. So once, you, once it's done, it'll say uh, success in green, and you click continue. And then you can restart your Wii console. And as you can see right here on your dashboard, scroll over, there it is, the homebrew channel. You have it installed, and now you're ready to start modding. Uh, stay tuned for future tutorials from me. Um, I will have all kinds of different mods and hacks you can use uh, via the homebrew channel. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you next time.